Welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. So in today's game, it looks like I get to go first, and immediately I get to go to go. So it's like Arthur went first, but I get a $200 bonus. And look at that, Arthur already has a 2 to nothing property lead. Luckily, I have cut that lead in half. So Arthur, even though he will immediately get out because it's early... I mean, yeah, why would you even stay in jail at this time? You pay the $50, and you leave. There, I'll take that property. Arthur will take that one. Six, I'll take this one. Look, it doubles. Oh, come on! I have to do the same thing Arthur did. It, all right. So it's Arthur's turn. Oh, come on. That's actually helpful in the beginning. You don't have to waste five dollars. Fifty dollars, not five. Did I say five? I clearly meant fifty. So I, let's see, nine. Not good. Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five. So it is my turn to also pay $75. Arthur will buy that. Oh no, he owns two of those. So we're not going to take any chances. Arthur could get a Monopoly, so I'm not going to let him do that. So I'm going to trade for St. Charles Place. $239 for it. It's a deal. Oh, come on. I forgot Arthur has that property. Oh, come on. I want him getting Virginia F, so that makes that deal legitimate. Oh, okay. No one has gotten a railroad yet. Arthur is going to jail. He will get out right away. Free, by the way. Because, that hell, he got that get out of jail free card. So I roll an eight, and I own that property. Still need some railroads. All right, Arthur has one. So that's not good. There we go, now I have one. That's good. Nice to get a second one. Thank you, $20. I'll take it. Four. Connecticut, I own that property. Eight and a hundred dollars. Oh, come on. Arthur owns the utilities now. Three. Let's see. Twenty. Oh, that means he can afford the railroad. He can't afford park books. He has to auction it. Unfortunately, if you, you know, apparently the computer does not, you know, mortgage properties to pay for a property. When you play with humans, they'll do that. So I own Park Place now. Good, so I'll take it. Seven. Pay poor tax of 15. I want him getting a nice, you know, two. Arthur, he would like to trade. Well, I don't know if this is the longest time since he's actually, that it's taken to make a trade. I need a 10. Oh, I didn't get a 10. Got a 9. No, I didn't get a 10. Arthur, oh, come on. Still need either one or two of these railroads. There we go, I have a Monopoly. Monopoly. So, I have the oranges. That's the one that Arthur likes. So. Three, good. Three. He gets a ten. Thirty-five dollars. I will take it. How about a two? That is not good for Arthur. Why? Right, come on, 
seven. Um, he landed on luxury tax. Oh, that was a mistake. I should just bought it. This was clearly a mistake. Two ninety-two. I lost thirty-two dollars because of that auction. Wow, that was a failure. I'll I'll take it for the for the extra thirty-two dollars. Six. Okay, that's fine. There we go. I have to mortgage park place to get it, but it will be worth it. Especially if Arthur lands on my map, which he did not. It's okay. You have you have plenty of more chances to do it. You could even get a two. Twenty-two. That doesn't help me pay back the extra money I paid for it. So it's unmortgaged part place. Good. I still need a green. So ten to Arthur. Six. Phew. That is huge. Thirty-five dollars. Oh, I still need Baltic or Mediterranean as, as well. Arthur got two hundred dollars. Hey, come on. On mortgage, Connecticut. Fifty dollars. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Pay school, come on. Down to $13. And two properties that have to be mortgaged. Alright, Arthur would like to trade. He likes Connecticut Avenue. No deal, obviously. Four. So, let's see, he got a six. $28. That is huge. That just I could get that much, just that much off for a green, but I don't. So it's unmortgaged those two. Right, back in the hospital. Good, an extra twenty. Could definitely use that. Four. Oh no, he owns two, but luckily he can't afford it, so he gets a two. It's okay. I want him getting a two, not not a six, even though he did yeah, I'm saying he lost seventy-five dollars. So I get a nine. Twenty-four to Arthur. He owns this property. Come on, Arthur. Good. Hopefully he'll land on like a better. Virginia Avenue. Take walk on the boardwalk. So I can't afford it, so Venter and Atlantic have to go for Monopoly number two. Twenty-eight dollars. I believe it's three hundred twenty. So as of now, because of that, unless I land on one of his properties. And then St. Charles Place. I'll take it. Venter, pay no rent. I will buy it. Ten. There we go. Seventy dollars. That is huge. Huge. Ten. Income tax refund. Oh yeah, that's not good. He can afford it now. He would have to lose a lot of money. Which I don't think is possible. Oh, come on! Tucky, still not in the range. But if he gets double, he gets doubles! Not good. If he rolls doubles, that means I should have traded him when I had the chance. I knew he was going to get that! I knew it! What a surprise. Connecticut Avenue. 
un I just knew it was gonna happen. Alright, I'll give trade you Pennsylvania Avenue. Let's see if he takes it. Mm. Left to offer St. James Place. We'll move the 400 and just say, and you take St. James Place. Good. Sorry, I had to give up that monopoly for, you know, for what I just knew it was going to happen. I still have Boardwalk and Park Place, though. I obviously needed a green. And look at that. I have three out of four railroads. So obviously, I will give him short line. It's a deal.